Hello there and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Whoa, this camera's not doing what I want it to do. Whoa, rodeo! <laughs> welcome back! Oh gosh. Alright, so welcome back to this beautiful site right here. Look at this. Do you notice what's different? Look at the screen, look at the screen. Look. Look at the screen. Look at what there is not. There is not a huge, massive, ultra, supersonic, uh traffic jam no more <laughs> oh gosh okay there's there's a little bit uh <laughs> earlier there was none at all okay well it's actually solving its problems gee solve your own problems road okay well okay let's get out of this view first let's get a majestic mode um the way i actually kept this off ramp um in case any of the people coming from this direction Wanted to go up here and go over here and get back going that way for whatever reason they would need to do that. Uh, but I put a little ramp. You can see right here, this bumpy ramp. Um, and I put it to where it would be before... The on-ramp would be before this exit ramp right here. This part of this cloverleaf. To where the traffic couldn't cross. Because that's, that's the problem with uh, cloverleafs. Is that merging and crossing traffic is kind of dangerous sometimes like especially when you're getting onto the the upper part um getting up to speed and merging is often dangerous as well as on on the, the part going under the bridge but most of the time um like like highways have a dedicated merge lane but these in fact do not i think it would be cool to for someone to make a mod that uh that would let you add like extra lanes onto existing roads and dedicate them as a merge lane i think that would be really neat uh but yeah i put this little guy right here and it solved all the traffic problems look at that it's just completely flowing just like flowing like a like like a river so yep they just cross over here and then get on over here so that's pretty freaking sweet but i've also noticed another problem the way i have these here there's one coming off, one going on, and then another one going off. So there's one coming on in between um, two offs. And so what I want to do is I want to get rid of that one right there. Getting rid of that one to where they don't have to worry about uh, crossing and stopping behind each other and all that stupid stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and add... I'm trying to gonna, gonna try and connect this connected... Oh, oh right... Right there. Let's try and connect it, like, right... Right there? Oh, yes! Oh, man, that works! Wow, that worked! Wow. Okay. And then, yep, just connect it right up to there. There we go! And just have it like that. Cannot believe that it actually fit under that highway. That's freaking sweet. Alright. Alright, come on, people, now. Let's use it. Woo, okay, yep. Um, <laughs> my game is starting to get a little bit framey. Um, I really have no performance loss while recording because I use Shadowplay to record. Um, but I can tell the game is starting to get a bit framey. Um, I feel like I'm running about 45, 40, 42, 43 when I'm looking around. So, yeah, hmm. And it can really only get worse, unless they, like, optim- Oh, there, there went a little guy right there. That guy right there. Good job, person. Station wagon. That's my kind of vehicle. I love station wagons. My first vehicle was a, uh, it was a 99 Volvo V70 wagon. And, oh, wow. I went camping in that thing so many times. <laughs> because, um, I- a, a twin mattress. A twin mattress would fit just absolutely perfectly. Um, length and width. Like, we it, we could just slide it up in there and then close the back door. And it was, oh my god, it was like the perfect, like, teenager camping vehicle. It was so awesome. And that ended up trading it for another Volvo. And then my old Volvo ended up dying and the guy scrapped it. And it made me sad. But, you know, we gotta move on. Gotta move on with life. And we gotta move on with the episode. <laughs> Okay, so there's a little something. Uh, I made a couple little parks. I mean, oh, that's one of them. The three by one roadside park. Uh, no, that's one of my vending machines. Is this it? Two by three park pack. Yes. This is. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. 
Do I need to use... I, I think I need to use a 3 by one roadside park. So, as you can see, these little guys right here, these are just 2 by 2 uh, commercial buildings. Loads into commercial buildings. And they are spaced uh, with, with three in between. So these little guys fit right in here a little perfect light. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place a few of these. And these are I, it's just something I thought about. that would, And I was like, hey, that is a great freaking idea. So look at that. It has, it has a little, I think it's like a dog. It's some sort of like dog machine for planning your, planning your pet. And then there's a little park right here. Look, look. Oh, oh, no, no, okay. Um, let's, let's go into first person and look at it. See what it looks like. Uh, hold on. Let me change the settings. I need to change it to, uh, snap to ground. There we go. Now let's do it. Yeah, look at these. These are, these are pretty cool. They, hmm. I, I would rather do these than use, say for instance, just trees. Because with these, you can... I mean, we got the little dog... We, oh, okay, yeah, we got a dog... It's a fountain for people and dogs. For for dog kind, as well as people kind. <laughs> but I put these little lamp posts here. And you couldn't do that with just if you just placed trees. So they're neat. They're just little roadside parks. They're, they're for taking up space. Empty space. Alright, let's get out of this guy. And there's another one I made. Where could I test it out? I need a... Um, a two wide by three length area. Actually, no, I will show some off that I've already done. Uh, where is it at? Right over here. Yep. These guys. Those, these are the one by three ones. And then I've got some two by three ones. Wait, no. One by three. No, these are three by two. Sorry. Three by two and one by three. Yeah, yeah, got it. Let's take a look at these things. So these are pretty cool. I kind of don't like how, because there is a, two rows of trees with a sidewalk in the middle. They're, they're a little close, and you got to kind of smack the trees out of your way. But uh, I think it's pretty neat. But I kind of don't like how the sidewalks connect to each other. It's kind of weird. But I think those are pretty cool. There's, just, there's some nice filler spots. That's a cool building right there. Alright, so let's get to playing the video game there's another little uh little guy I downloaded from the steam workshop um oh gosh i forget who the mod author was no it's not in there oh that's right it's where it should be the transportation airports and this blue thingamajigger air control tower three by three so look at here look at this thing it adds an air radio control center thing like you see at every single airport airport in the world so that's cool it makes it feel like <laughs> it, it's a real airport rather than just some building with an airstrip back there uh, I think that helps out a lot okay I want to get started on this guy so first things first I need to make a district what's it gonna be called Belmont's hell no hey you no what, what, what can I name it um I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, so, something just popped in my head. Um, should there be a... Hmm, should there be a dash there? Subpar... Farms. <laughs> there we go. Subpar farms. No clue why. That is just the first thing that popped in my, my, little, my little brain. Okay. Let's... District eyes all this place probably shouldn't do across the highway For not really for any specific reason. Uh, I don't have any plans for this side yet But probably want to do uh, Like another area of the city over here, and I kind of want to have a theme going um, For the, for the first I don't know 35 38 what episode is this I have no clue I don't keep up with things um, I haven't really had a theme for anything. Not really that big of a theme. I've kind of uh, created more of a story for each area rather than starting from a, uh, a theme. Alright, subpar farms. So now we need to get 
some farms in here. Um, I need to zone that as... Wait, were we doing farming or forestry? I can't remember. Uh, fertile land. So farming. Yes, farms. Definitely farms. So that, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we got lots of oil over there. And we got all that oil over there and there. Um, hmm. This is built right on prime farmland, but I think I'm going to pass. Oh, is that ore? Is that what that is? Wait, where'd the thing go? Oh, there it is. Ore. Yes, that is ore. Okay. So, well, let's get a dish view right here. Uh, what was I saying? What? Okay, yep, yeah, yeah, that's right. Need to change it to farming. Okay, now let's set the, uh, the policies. Um, why not recycle? Nah, I'll let the farmers smoke. They got, they gotta smoke. Industrial space planning, and I think that's it. Ah, uh, yeah, high-tech housing won't do anything because that's just for uh, residential. And I've made a few more... Uh, I think I had mentioned it, but over here in this little farming area, in the, uh, the green acres. Okay, I actually think some of them came back, maybe? No, 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 they didn't. No, they didn't. Um, yeah, as you can see, all of this is industrial now. Uh, except for that loose part there. Don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, by, uh, turning the, the, the little field things I made off in the asset editor, uh, it, it unloaded them from my game when I loaded it up. Oh, God, it all the freaking building def. Um, so that got rid of them. Um, so I made some more. Let me find them. They are pretty big. I think they're farther this way. 1x16 field and a 1x12 field. Yep. Oh, my God. Whoa. I could not. I could not have planned that any better. No way in hell. So, yes, we got some little rows of, uh, cabbage, kale, who knows. What else is there? Cabbage, uh, don't know. What else could that be? Giant, oh, giant, giant, uh, GMO, uh, Brussels sprouts. Yes. Genetically modified giant mus muscle sprouts. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> oh, God. People are going to have a... Environmentalists are going to have a heyday with that one. So let's zone in. I, I kind of want to do this in a way... I don't want to fill the entire area up with uh, industrial. Because I don't really have that much of a demand right now, which I think I eventually will. So put some there. And let me see if this worked. 1 by 12 Yes, that will allow me to put these right behind. Perfect. All right, now, come on, grow. Come on, move in. Okay, they can get over here, can't they? Yeah, they can. They can. Okay, we'll just wait for him to grow up. Me, big, strong building. And then I'll place some more. Do some more 16 ones. Do an odd number. Oh, jeez, it keeps prompting me to buy land. I don't want to buy no land. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And then do one like... This, oh man, here's the seagulls. They are, they are showing up already. Ready to poop all over these farmer's tractors. Oh gosh. One there. One there. Oh yeah, here they come. They're moving in. They're like, oh yeah, look at this farmland. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, oh damn it. Okay, there we go. G gotta remember which ones are which. Or which, which spots I have set to grow up big strong industrial buildings oh that is the perfect building right there that oh wow that is perfect that little red top barn we got a brown top one oh this is so great oh yeah by the way um if you're watching this video which uh you would probably be watching it if you were watching it uh <laughs> this is my uh my very first video uh using adobe premiere so I have, <clears throat> I haven't switched over because at the moment I am just using the trial version. No, I can't do that. I kind of want to have a little, little road like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just using the trial version right now. 
And if I absolutely love it and have to have it, I will uh, I'll upgrade to that. Which I, I could see myself doing because the, the features are like so awesome. Like you can uh, you can put a a queue, so you can you can uh, edit a bunch of videos, and then you can uh, put it in a in a queue, and it will render one, then it will render the next in the queue, and then the next one in the queue, and then the next so far, so forth, so on. Is that how that term goes? Don't think so. <laughs> there we go, and this is this is looking like fields. Oh god. <laughs> Gotta get these guys some power. They don't have the power. Um, yeah, and it allows you to automatically upload it to YouTube. Um, it's the uh, Adobe Premiere, uh, I think it's 7.0. I think, I think it's the 7th version. Um, it's the, uh, the Creative Cloud version. I don't know why I'm drawing them all the way out here. But, yeah, I think that's, that's just so crazy convenient. Oh, God. Now I just did this weird space. There we go. <laughs> Fill that back in. Still need to get these guys up here water. And uh, I, I, I got the 30-day 30, 30 free trial, and I'm trying it out. It's, it's relatively similar to Sony Vegas. Um... I mean, there are some big differences too, but it's relatively the same. If you view, if you view Stony Vegas and you're familiar with familiar with Vegas, then you will probably catch on with with with, with the themes pretty quick. Um, but I edited one video and I felt pretty confident that I could do more. All right, you got power and you got water. Uh oh, no, nope. uh, trees go away. Oh, oh, it's a fruit for all. Unless this little guy's name is Fruit, then I don't think so. Fruity. There we go. How you doing, Fruity? <laughs> Got a little pig farm there. Actually, I want to, uh, I want to get right here down by the pigs. Oh, look at the pigs. They're so pig-like. And pink. There's piglet. Oh, oh, oh god. These pigs are blind. How are they going to know when to stop? Because they could just easily leave this 4x4 area. And end up in the highway and... And, and cause an accident. That was a terrible oink. I apologize. I can do better than that. <laughs> hey, what? What the hell is that? Orchard company? No, you are not an orchard company. You are getting the hell out of here with that thing. Don't know don't want no signs in here. Okay. How do I want to do this? I think I want it like this. I'm going to draw a road right here all the way across. Like that. Yep. And then I'll just do completely, just all 100% farms back here. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, I'll zone. Oh, gosh, I have no demand for industrial now. So this may not grow up. I may have to put this on hold and uh, come back until we have some demand. Um, so let's get a whole bunch of these, yep, 16 ones. Oh, no. Oh, it's hitting the highway. That's not good. <laughs> I didn't plan on that. I may have to come back and make some, uh, some 15 ones and some 14 ones and some 13 ones. Really, a 16 by 16? Oh, oh, man, come on. Come on now. Oh, I'll just put these here for now. How much do these cost? I think that's, I think that's, yeah, I set them to zero. But they don't, like, provide any tourist attraction, so uh, I'm not, I'm not cheating. No, wrong thing. <laughs> Don't want to draw a sidewalk. Yep, that's going to give me the correct amount of area. Let's get some in there. And then just do the rest in... Actually... Um, 
We could do that. There we go. Just like that. Get some little guys in here, too. Can't forget the, about the little guys. So we'll bang these in, and then... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not gonna fit. Oh, well. We can just add some more of these guys. Good job, guys. Okay, so this is gonna grow up be big strong. Um, oh, they're complaining about workers. Wow! At the sheer amount of... Bur of, of... Oh, God. What? Sorry, bur birdage? I was trying to say a word that shouldn't be said ever. Okay, armor train's gone. Hell no, they are not gone yet. Come on, guys. I wish you would fix this. I I'm, I'm certain that they put out a patch. Like, uh, a, 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 a pre-release patch for the people that were playing it because their trains weren't despawning. But now mine aren't. Uh, and this is... Oh, God. Week and a half after the game came out. Okay, you guys are doing okay over here. Let's check on some... Actually, I need some commercial. Where could I do some commercial? Let's let's see where all the commercial is. So we've got a little bit down here. A, a, a good bit over here. Um, we've got a large amount up here. Now, who needs commercial? We've got some through there. Wow, it all the freaking... I, I think this is from... Uh, yeah, I think they're complaining about no resources. Which, I don't really know why. Oh, not enough of workers, actually. Do have demand for some residents. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, well, to end the episode, uh, end the episode off with... That is not correct speaking, me. I'm going to continue with this guy. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to keep it paused in case people need to turn around. I am super proud with this setup. With this raised highway with the with the little fingers going off of it. And this works so f freaking awesome. Because it has basically made my traffic right here go down to none. As well as that guy. Okay. Uh, yep, and I can just have it connect up down here. And I think I want to do a l kind of like uh, one of these, but different. Um, hmm. Yeah, there, there's one with, like, a large loop, like an off-center loop. It, it, it functions this, the exact same. Okay, I'm going to turn on snap. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. What? Please don't tell me that is too steep. Okay, let's draw it up to... Oh, a soft spot. Actually, I don't... Yeah, I don't want the uh, the supports. Really? Really? I might not be able to actually draw this highway up this. That's kind of not cool at all. Oh, no. Oh, wait, was that... I think that was actually touching the ground. Alright, I want it to where it doesn't have the supports... Come on, give it to me. There. Man, this is... I'm going to have to figure out something to do. Um, I might have to curve it around up this guy. And... Hmm. Actually, you know what? That might... Hmm, nah, it really wouldn't matter. With the setup I have, I, I can really just make more roads. and Because I was thinking about having it turn this way. And then that would give me more access to this area. But I could just make another highway to come over here if I go this way with it. <laughs> but I can't go that way with it. So I'm just going to delete that for now. Um, Let's see if I can curve it. Get some curvature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's put it like there. No, not quite it. No, that's still not it. That's it right there. And I'll just come back and reverse the directions of them. Um, I could have it follow this mountain. That would be kind of cool. Let's lower it. it. Needs to be lowered. Ooh, oh, yeah. I don't know about that. 
looks okay, actually. <laughs> this is going to be the hard part. Getting this guy around at the same angle. Actually, I did it pretty damn good. Yeah. And then I'll continue this on that way. Connecting up, I think, right here. I think I'll, I'll do a guy right here. Yeah, this is going to be a nice, cool highway. Because all the ones I have now are pretty straight. Even though these guys are kind of curved, they're not really curved that much. But curving around terrain is just so much fun. It's so satisfying. It's it's like you're it's like you're one with the earth. You're feeling the curves of the earth. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to continue this, and uh, I'll let you guys see what I've come up with in the next episode. See you guys next time.